There was one product that nobody seemed to know anything about come out of the University of Nebraska uh, called Gasohol. Alcohol blended with uh, gasoline and called it ethanol. And so, uh, you know, our dreams started. We could be bold. We had nothing to lose. We had nothing. We had no reputation. We had no money. We had no assets. So we could really be bold. What would happen if the entire state of Iowa would use that in their gasoline or the entire world. So that was kind of the basis of us moving ahead with the product ethanol. Gasol, as we call it, ethanol today, was just really a pipe dream. Uh, farmers wanted to believe it, but they didn't. For the first 10 years, uh, we couldn't even get anybody to even look at the product let alone buy the product. And so we started out giving the product. Some of the directors went together and pooled the money and bought 10 gallons of alcohol, gave it to some stations, and we went around and poured it in their storage tank so they could sell it blended with their gasoline. It was done on a Saturday, and they sold out of the ethanol within an couple of hours in most cases and so forth. I believe the first year we climbed up to I believe 22 percent uh, of sales in gasoline with ethanol in it and, and I think most of you are aware from there on. One of the obstacles was the newsprint who of course you can find all kinds of issues. The automobile industry had their issue, the meat industry had their issue about running the price of uh, corn up uh, but the print industry uh, elaborated on negatives. One that probably was the hardest and bothered me was the most was they implied that we would never have enough corn. Now maybe someday we will not have enough corn. But for the last 38 years, we had an, a, an abundant supply of corn for both food and for ethanol.